On Saturday, February 11th, the 9th Annual Undergraduate History Conference was held at the IPFW Alumni Center. The purpose of the conference was to give undergraduate students the opportunity not to only present their work to their peers, faculty, and their families, but to also provide them with a chance to formally practice and improve their presentation and public speaking skills through their research. The event started at 8 a.m. with breakfast and opening remarks from Dr. Richard Weiner, the History Department Chair, and included five different panels of topics ranging from war, international diplomacy, identities in the U.S., and politics through the 20th century from 18 different presenters. We were able to catch up with a couple of the students, Heather Dewey and Rosie McQueen, and ask them a couple questions about why they were presenting. Um, I like to do the history undergraduate conferences because it gets, gives me the chance to actually spread my research out. I'm also pursuing a PhD in history, so it gives me some much needed practice when it actually comes to public speaking which I'm not a fan of. I'm very used to writing long papers. I'm not so used to getting up in front of people and talking about history. Because when you write a long paper, you get to do like run on sentences, you get to get creative with the sentence structure and stuff like that. Talking face to face uh, requires a different sort of uh, level of communication. Dr. Suzanne LeVere, an associate professor who has been teaching ancient and medieval Europe at IPFW for eight years, and a co-organizer of the History Conference tells us that studying history isn't just about remembering dates and names, but rather a better way to understand what's happening around the world and to become a global citizen. Lavere also talks about practical real-world uses from the skills learned as a history major. Um, studying history can lead to all kinds of different jobs. Um, the vast majority of people who study history do not become historians, but they use the skills they learn, like the writing skills, the speaking skills, the analysis skills, in um, all kinds of jobs for government, nonprofit, um, in all kinds of businesses, and so on. Lavere also added that this is a conference that is not just for history majors. Students who major in political science, secondary education, communications, English, psychology, and legal studies were on the panels and giving speeches about their research. A lecturer in the IPFW Political Science Department for over 17 years, Thomas Hay, believes the conference gives students the chance to present work as they would present it in an academic conference. It gives them a chance to take work that they've done, which has been uh, recognized as high quality work by their faculty, and you know, sort of polish it up to another level and, and get it uh, maybe something that could even be published, which has happened in some instances with these. So, you know, it's, it's the next step uh, bridging undergraduate and postgraduate work for a lot of them. To find out more about the Department of History here at IPFW, visit their Facebook page, facebook.com slash IPFW History, their IPFW website at www.ipfw.edu slash history, or get in touch with Terry Luce, who is the department secretary. You can also stop by the Liberal Arts Building in room 209 and speak with one of the faculty members.